Hi, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. We want to practice, right? Or at least, you know, you might get a little amount of time to do it. But practice can be fun, but it's about making it effective as well. I've talked before about making sure that you pick a target uh, more often and go through the bag on different clubs. But we still want to, you know, use drills to enhance our golf swing and, in, you know, basically improve. And drills do that exactly. So it's not just about, you know, you've got to focus on this target and the body will magically produce it. Sometimes we have to train ourselves a little bit. But when it comes to hitting drill after drill, it doesn't really help our game that much. So one thing, if let's say you found one of my drills or someone else's that you're liking, you don't want to just stand here and hit 100 balls doing that same drill. There's a time and a place for that a little bit, but really what we're talking about is we want to play better golf, don't we? On the golf course, not just here on the range. So when we do certain drills, we have to try and dial it back into a real life situation. So let's say I'm working on a, a drill at the moment, which is making sure that I'm shallowing out my golf swing a little bit. Okay, because I sometimes get a little bit too uh, steep into the ball and a little bit too handsy. So there's my sort of rehearsal about keeping the width here. And then I'm going to let the swing take over as normal. So I'm going to do, you know, some practice uh, drills that are going to improve that. So I'm going to do like a, an over enhancing drill to get that sensation. So what I'm going to try and do is, so I take it back. I bring it down here, there's my pump, and then I swing through, okay? Worked just fine, but now I need to make sure that I do it out on the golf course. So let's say, you know, I want you to use different clubs, different uh, objectives. So now I'm going to pick a completely different target here, okay? I'm going to pick over towards the range cart in this position, and I'm going to try and hit a uh, punch shot. So I'm going to still have that uh, drill ingrained in my mind. So I'm going to stand a little bit closer to it. I'm going to try and compress this a little bit more, but I'm still going to try and feel that sensation of shallowing out. So what happened there is I put that drill into immediate effect. So that's gonna give me a better result on the golf course because it's more real life. I chose a new target, I chose a new objective, and I made sure that the drill did what I needed to do from the sort of bit of muscle memory. So make sure you don't just bash hundreds of balls doing drill after drill. I mean, drills definitely have their place, but you know, make sure that you mix it up. And that, you know, really what I would like to see, try a practice session when now you would hit another golf ball. So I've still got that shallowing sensation in my mind, but I've got a new target. So I'm going to try and hit a high draw. It's not quite the shot because we're into wind here right now, but I'm going to try and have that same sensation to hit that high draw. And I did it. I, that worked out just fine. But now I would use this ball to try and enhance that drill again to get that feeling that I want. So then it works in real life. If you like that video, which I hope you did, please put it into action, but like, subscribe, and put any questions you want below, just uh, the video here, and go to theartofsimplegolf.com slash free for a really cool series for every area of your game. Now, if you want to take your game really to the next level, we have some awesome products and resources over on the website. Just visit the store and you can see and learn a heck of a lot more. I will see you in the next video.